guys welcome to my channel my name is Taru and today I have the seventh update for the four season four seasons project pan for you guys this is a yellow project pan with fantastic ladies curated by Jessica and Amanda and I will have everyone link down below so uh, originally we choose four products for nature of each season and I have finished something in each season but I have seen still quite a lot left so let's start with spring and the only one left is the elf matte lip color in Tiro's and it's currently on my lips and I have used it quite a lot the past month and that is everything I have left so if I used it a lot, it's like two months worth of video or something. And I will show you my lines. So I used it quite a lot this time compared to the other month. So there is not that much left. So that one will be done by the end of the year. Then we move on, on to summer and there are still all three products left but this one is almost done it is the federal press uh, bath and sour gel and that's how much i used last month and that's how much i have left so by the next update this should be done because like the bottom goes up a little bit so there is not even that much room so this should definitely be done <laughs> finally some from summer would be moved out then the other one that is slowly going towards being done is the elf exfoliating scrub and as you can see it is already cut open i this mark is from few months ago and it wouldn't like settle down anymore and it was at the point where I had to like shake it to like move the product product down and it would like just squirt a little bit at a time so I cut it open but there is still quite a lot left so I'm not sure it I mean it's at least two months but I don't know if it's even more but it's going it's going to be done so that is that then the summer product that maybe won't be done at all is my sunshine product the revolution ultra strobe balm and it's a bit hard to open i have made a dip in it but not even heat pan and it's like summer is almost over in Finland not, not really I mean we, we have maybe one warm month and then it starts to get cold again so I don't think I will be using this up in a month I have used it a few times on my legs but mostly I have it on my like shoulders and collarbones and it is pretty but it's it's a bit hard to get off and yeah it's an extra step and I don't usually remember to do it so that's why we are here but I have used it without this project I probably wouldn't have touched this one so that is good and it <laughs> it uh, moved 0 0.1 gram in weight so that tells you something <laughs> then we move to autumn and I really haven't used my autumn products that much first is the Andalou Naturals pumpkin and honey glycolic mask and I used 1.2 grams which is a lot less than I have used it's still I think I used it 
once, maybe twice, but I think once. Past like the past month, and that is because I uh, these chemical exfoliators they kind of like make your skin more sensitive to sun, and I am on this. I have rheumatoid arthritis and I am on a medication that kind of like makes me even more sensitive to sun and even though I wear sunscreen on my face especially every day I am a bit scared to use these in the like when it's really sunny in Finland it's not that sunny but anyways I don't really want to use this when it's really sunny so I will get back to this when it's not that sunny. <laughs> okay, and it was a long, long ramble for this product, but yeah, I love it, so I will get back to it. Then the other fall product is the Revolution Iconic Division Palette, and I don't think I used this one at all the past month, so still only one pan, but these are fall colors, so. I think I will want to like get this out in the fall time and yeah if you don't know I am doing the pan in every palette challenge and so I have been focusing on like those palettes more now so this I will be using more when it's like these colors in the nature <laughs> then that's all for autumn. Then for winter, I have two products left. And the first one is this Liquid Starlight uh, from Revolution, a uh, liquid highlighter. And I was able to draw a new line. And that is always exciting because we started there and I have been able to make one new line. And then this is the other one. So I have used it maybe a bit more this past month but yeah it's an extra step that i often forgotten and but it's it's okay but i don't want to use this up i i knew i wouldn't be able to use it up use this up so any progress is a win so in that way i am happy with that one uh then oh well let's see the weight oh it did move 0 0.3 grams from last time so that is exciting <laughs> we can see some progress sorry i keep the table and then the last product is this highlighter from the revolution contour kit and maybe you can tell that the pan has grown well, yeah, well, every time it grows a little, but I'm not sure if this is going to be done. But I mean, I use it a lot, so now I have been like mixing these two because this is too dark and this is a bit too frosty for summertime, so I have been mixing these two. So I used a lot, but it's not going like. Or it's going very slowly. But anyways. Yeah. That was everything for this project and this update. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like I'm a bit all over the place. <laughs> but that's fine. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.